Now, this drill done by the recent Masters champion, world number one, Scotty Scheffler, is so incredibly simple, but will make you an unbeatable iron player and driver player if you do it. So what is this drill? So it is simply just putting a T in the butt end of your club. Scotty does it with either kind of like an extra part of a shaft or a pencil in the end of his grip. And all we're wanting to do is at the top of our swing, point this T behind us. Now, what that's gonna do, that's gonna make the downswing so much easier. You're gonna get into better shaft angles. That means you're gonna be able to move your body better and then strike the shots, just like we saw Scotty do at the Masters. So to fully dive into this and understand it, let's understand first, when we don't do this correctly, let's say Scotty's old fault, which he used to do, why it's gonna be so damaging when you do it wrong then also gets us understanding why it helps so much when we do it right. So when we do this drill wrong, and that is pointing the T behind, just like we see with this picture here with Scotty there, having that, what he's got in the shaft there, point behind him, that gives him this across the line shaft. Now that's gonna be an absolute disaster for vast majority of all of you in the downswing, because what that does, when we are across the line with a T pointing behind us here, so behind our body, that's gonna make us then steep in the downswing. So when we're steep in that downswing from that cross the line shaft, because we've ultimately got too much movement we've got to do to be able to shallow the club. The club will naturally just get vertical and steep. Your body will then want to stand up and come out of posture to be able to hit through the shot. So there was a brilliant video that Scotty did with Golf Pass with Chris Como and his coach. And that is talking about this and what happens to Scotty when he gets a little bit steep, when he has that T point behind him in the back swings or behind the body, he will have to early extend, drive his pelvis towards the ball, which him and his coach try to avoid massively. Because when you early extend coming into it, that not only affects your power, but it will also affect the quality of your strike. So many golfers out there who early extend, they'll start to meet the hosel because when their pelvis pushes forward, their club will also push forward along with it, causing heel strikes, and it will massively stop your rotation and it will really cause you to have a flippy release going through there. So lots of hand and arm action that is going to make you hit the ball all over the place. So that having that T point behind, something we do not want to do across the line, steep and then early extend and you lose control of everything at the bottom of your swing. So what we want to do here, just like we're seeing with this picture of Scotty, what he's doing, he's pointing that T or what is in the butt end of his club directly away from the target. So that gives you what we would more call a down the line club shaft. So when we've got a down the line club shaft, or maybe even for some golfers, a little bit laid off, pointing a little bit in front there, that's gonna help you massively to be able to shadow the club because then you do not have to pitch the club that much in this direction. So towards going behind you to be able to shallow that club. And why having the club shaft a little bit shallow is so important is because it enables you to be able to continue to turn the body and stay down through the golf shots and be able to present good angles going through the shot. So it's massively helpful to be able to get your body to stay in posture and turn. So that's where so many golfers who are, let's say chronically early extending, standing up, they try their best to stay down on it, but they could be golfers that are absolutely across the line at the top, then they get steep, then they early extend. So that's where if you are getting yourself up to the top of the swing there, having that club nicely down that line, T pointing, so away from that target there behind you in this fashion, then, that downswing is gonna happen naturally. You don't have to try and physically manipulate a shallow, it will just want to shallow, and you will then be able to control that strike better through staying in that posture more, and you're gonna be able to have much better power generation going through the golf ball as well. As we know, Scotty is someone who can generate a lot and a lot of power, but as consistent as a ball striker he is, by far, at the moment, the best in the world by a long shot when it comes to his iron play. We just saw that in the last day of the Masters. Barely put a foot wrong at all. And that is because one of the big reasons he gets into such a good top of the backswing position where he makes the downswing happen naturally. And one other thing, again, from that golf paths video that I urge you all to watch, go and have a little look at it after this video. He also talks about once he's getting that club with that T or pencil 
in the end of his grip, pulling behind, he's moving down. He really works hard on getting that left hip out the way. They're really talking about getting that left side out the way. Because when you're getting that left hip out the way, again, that's a feel that keeps the body turning. So even though this is going to help us with that nice shallow move, it's going to help the club move down nicely on its own in the downswing. But we still want to encourage that body to turn. Getting that left hip to go back keeps the body turning, keeps it moving through the shot. And when you move that left hip back, gets you into what we call hip flexion, which then flexes you down, keeps you in your posture. A really good one to do there. So of course, to do this drill, we want to point the tee behind us, as we know, we talked about the whole video. But there are other things you can do with this to help with other areas of your golf swing, especially the takeaway. So what I would want you to do as you're moving back also to clean up the first move, which is incredibly important, which Scotty does really well also, is make sure that T is pointing at your belt buckle. If you can get the T pointing at your belt buckle, you're gonna have a much more neutral takeaway. See how the hands are in, the club's out, minimal forearm rotation. Where a lot of golfers will immediately, as they move back, get the T pointing out away from them. Because if you get that T pointing out away, let's say down the target line, you've rolled your forearms, the club face is opened, and it's gonna be incredibly difficult then to get that T pointed behind. You will want to reroute the shaft up to the top to where then it's gonna point behind in the position we don't want to be in, just from the travel the shaft's going to take. So that's where if we can get that T pointing at the belt buckle as my little addition here and then behind, that's great. So we could do a little drill here to then get this pointing at the belt buckle in the takeaway and stopping, good. And then behind us at the top and swing through. And if anything, we wanna feel extra from there, left hip, moving back and through. And let's say we've been repping this out a ton on the driving range. Okay, good. And then what we could do when we're out on the golf course, still imagine that you've got that tee there. So that's where you could then, let's say in a pre-shot routine before the shot, imagine you've got that tee there, point behind, little swing through. Again then, when you're over your shot, imagine you still got that tee or the pencil or the shaft in the button of the club. And that'll be a great way to go about using your practice, using it as a visual, visual area on the golf course, using your imagination. That'll be absolutely brilliant. So again, this is gonna make you such an unbelievably better iron player, but driver as well. This all applies the same for driver. There's no difference here. You wanna be at that good shaft angle for driver as well. If you can master this, you could be an unbeatable player with your long game. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button if you want more golf instruction, just like this. Hit the subscribe button, hit that bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video.